big fish and little fish. So it seems like us uh, humans always like to catch the biggest things. Uh, like when have you ever heard anybody bragging about the little fish they caught or, or talking about African small game hunting? But if you think it through, that means when you go fishing, you're going to take out the biggest fish, and that means the biggest fish aren't going to be left there, and that means that the reef is very different than it was before fishing really got hard. I'm a captain and a lobster diver. I'm a lobster fisherman. I wouldn't say it's that easy, but you, you, you know, because you got a lot of naive people that um, really don't look at the situation as, as a decline. They, if they get it today, they don't worry about tomorrow. You know, it's us we're doing the destruction, so it's us we've got to pay the price. We got to look at it and, and deal with it ourselves. So here's something we've learned: big fish make better mothers. They make better mothers because, uh, well, one, they have a lot more babies, they have a lot more eggs, but also the eggs they make can be better egg by egg. They can make baby fish that uh, swim better, grow faster, live longer, and so the next generation comes easier. But where do you go to find big fish anymore? It seems like anywhere you go, what you can find are, are small fish, especially like in fish markets and on your dinner plate. The big fish are the older fish, which they look great, but I don't think that they'd be that good to eat. Snapper reproduce and uh, sustain themselves very easily, and like the grouper that uh, takes a little longer, the lobster takes a little longer, um, the conch takes a little longer. More and more people go to marine parks to find big fish because it's the parks that have been protected for a long time and the big fish have been able to grow there. Divers go there in order to see big grouper, big snapper, big jacks, things that if they went to a, an area that was heavily fished where there's lots of people, you can't find any big fish at all. Well, the first thing we'd have to do is form a body, try to educate the fishing population on um, what will happen in the next few years you know, will any be left for the children? You know, for the younger generation that's coming up, for the younger fishing generation that's coming up. There's a balance between fishing and the fish. There's a balance between taking the fish that people need and letting some fish grow up for the next generation.